Hey, if you found your way to this video, it probably means you've been having some problems uh, with usage of uh, CPU. For a long time, I've been having this problem that all my projects, they spike out on one uh, thread here. Uh, if I push play, it's almost maxed out. It's uh, just a matter of time before I start getting error messages. So, uh, I've been searching and searching and searching for a solution to this problem. Um, and uh, you have probably two. Um, one of the things I hear again and again is make a new empty track. There we go. And uh, select it when you start your playback. To me, it yeah, it makes maybe a little bit of a difference. Let's see. Yeah, a teeny tiny bit, but not enough for me to really bother doing it. All right. The other thing I've been reading again and again is uh, distribute your plugins uh, so you don't have... Uh, uh, you know, your plugins on just one uh, channel, for instance. And you can see here, they are pretty even distrib distributed. Uh, so, uh, I came across a solution that worked for me. Maybe it will work for you too. The first thing I did was to go into audio. And here... Here's the thing, I don't know if that helped me. I think maybe a little bit, but I did this as the first thing. I um, checked this one off, enabled, applied changes, and then I clicked it on again. I think it helped a little bit, uh, but I'm not sure. I just know that's what I did for a start. All right. Um, yeah, but still we got this spike. So what I realized was this here is uh, input monitoring and they're turned on on a lot of my tracks. Uh, the reason why I've been sloppy about this is because I started using uh, an Apollo at some point. So I don't use uh, the input monitoring at all. But if I turn this off, and press play, voila, I got the other course working. Um, I mean, Apple, uh, this is stupid. Uh, okay, uh, but moving on, there's a thing more I found that uh, in my um, multi-threading, it was set uh, to playback tracks. If I choose the this one, playback and live. Yeah, the spiky one just dropped a whole lot. So that's uh, how I uh, dealt with this problem. I hope this helped you. If that didn't help you, here's another solution. It's messy, it's crazy, it makes little to no sense. But maybe it's for you. Check it out. Okay, so I'm in another project, and this is when everything goes a little bit nuts. All right. So if I'm playing, you see I'm spiking out. And this is a master I'm doing. Uh, so it's just one track. And I went a little nuts and used a lot of plugins, and I started spiking. So I spread them out on a, def a lot of buses, because that's basically the fix you'll find if you start reading about it. Didn't help me, I'm still spiking. And I realized that I'm record enabled and I'm uh, input monitoring. So if I click both of those off, whoops, and play again, I'm still spiking out. And this is when I realized that my fix just didn't work right away. So I messed around with it, went back and forth a bunch, and in the end, uh, I made it work. Um, so uh, just hold on a little bit longer.
And there we go. Now I got three threads going. I don't see the pattern in this, but I just realized that messing with core audio, messing with multi-threading and summing. Um, if you go back and forth, at some point you're gonna hit something that's better. I wish this were clearer. It's not, but it helps.